Hello everyone. Today we are at the Mahindra showroom here in Baner, Pune. And uh, the EV community in Pune has assembled here. We have uh, multiple electric cars as you can see. We have the 100 km E2O, then the 120 km E2O and the E2O plus P6, E2O plus P8 and a couple of other E2Os with uh, minor modifications like there's one E2O with, which has new set of wheels. So we are assembled here, we are all charging up, ensuring that all the cars are charged up to 100%. Uh, so we are off from here, we are all going together from Pune to Lonavala, a distance of 52 kilometers. And the idea is to test the range for the suite of electric cars we have here. All right, so this is what we're going to do. All the, all the cars assembled here and uh, for this range test, we're also logging, logging the data as we complete each milestone. So we have the e classic E2 100 kilometers, the classic E2 which had a 120 kilometers range. And then you have the E2O plus P6 and then you have the E2O plus P8. So we're comparing these models, testing their, testing their efficiency on a highway uh, drive of a distance of 50, 52 kilometers. And uh, just to see which model uh, was the most efficient and which model was the least efficient. So, and uh, then you have a couple of grid, grid crashes to the party. Uh, you have a classic E2O with the unique 90 kilometer model. And then you have uh, with Ito, which, which has two new Yokohama wheels installed by Hemang. And uh, we're going to test the performance of uh, that E2O, that modified E2O. And uh, so at 11 a.m., all the cars are charged completely and they have 100% SOC remaining. As you can see, each car has a different uh, amount of kilometer, estimated kilometer that, that it can go. Uh, let's see how things pan out as we complete the journey. After a short drive, after covering 20 kilometers, uh, we stop at a petrol pump. Uh, yes, the same dirty, smelly petrol pump that all of us electric car drivers absolutely hate going to. But we are here for a different reason. We are filling air in all our tires to ensure that uh, we have optimum tire pressure for the journey ahead of us. All right, let us look at the readings after 20 kilometers of our journey. So the classic E2O. 100 km model is doing great. It has 83% SOC remaining. And uh, the E2O stock 120 km car is also doing okay with 81% remaining. And the, the P6 E2O Plus is having 79% remaining. And then the P, P8 E2O Plus has 81% remaining. And the classic E2O unique 90 km model has 81% remaining. And the E2O with new wheels also has 83% remaining. As you can see, the early readers are the classic E2O 100 km with 83% remaining. And the E2O with new wheels with 83% remaining. But, and the reading from the P6 model of E2O Plus at 79% is a tad low. So it is a bit concerning. Uh, but maybe the E2O, maybe the P6, maybe the P6 model can make up as we uh, go on. So why are we in a petrol pump? <laughs> non smokers. Non smokers. Well, I am never in a petrol pump. <laughs> you guys brought me here. <laughs> Alright, 
all the electric cars are parked in a spot after reaching our milestone of 40 kilometers now and uh, we are noting down the battery state of charge uh, reading from each car and those are logged in our logbook so how are the readings like so the classic e2 100 kilometers is doing great after 40 kilometers it has still has 64 percent soc remaining even with ac on and going at a pretty decent speed average speed of 65 70 kmph and the e2 stock 120 km also is doing great 40 kilometers done with 64 percent soc remaining and uh, the p6 of e2 plus is lagging behind i can see as you can see out of 40 kilometers it shows only 58 percent soc remaining so and then the p82 plus out of 40 kilometers is doing okay and the and then the unique e2o is doing as expected uh, as as is the e2o with the yokohama v new wheels with 65 percent soc remaining so at this point the e2o's are extremely predictable you can predict the range uh, which you achieve and it gives you uh, even with ac you can you can it, it gives you the range that is expected of but with e2o plus p6 and p8 is kind of iffy let's hope uh, they make up when we reach donawala Okay guys, we are at Trinetra petrol pump, Lonawala. This is the first charging point we had. Uh, we had this for, for a long time. Now uh, we are setting up two more charging points. Uh, a lot of people have been using this point because a lot of people are doing Pune to Mumbai travel. And uh, this point is open 24-7. So you can come here any time to charge. I think that uh, we need more charging points here. So we are setting up uh, another charging point here. Okay. Okay guys, so now, now they have a charging point here, but the problem is there's no earthing for this point. So what we are doing is we are we have tied a single wire here and we have tied it to the earthing of this point. You can see it here. See you can see this. Okay. And then we have put the earthing outside here to a smaller point. It does not matter if it is a 5 ampere or a 15 ampere point. For our thing. For our thing. Yeah. The last point is there. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now we have the third and last point at Trinitra. Uh, this is in the generator room. Uh, yes. We can use this point if both the outside points are being used. Uh, this is not easily accessible, but yes, if, if there are more than two cars, you can use this point easily. Okay, so there are totally three points at Lonavala. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So how did uh, the cars do after we reach, after we complete 52 kilometers? So, as you can see uh, from the results here, the classic E2O 100 kilometer, uh, it exceeds the expectations. So the expected range left was 48 kilometers. Or the achieved DTE or the range left was 50 kilometers and then the SOC was 52 percent and as you can see the classic E2O has exceeded expectations uh, in its performance and efficiency and next we move on to the stock E2O 120 kilometers uh, where the ex expected DTE was 68 kilometers given that it's a 120 kilometer uh, range car and then there's uh, the achieved DTE was 61 kilometers so if you look at the SOC it's very uh, similar to the classic E2O uh, the 53 percent so this shows that the battery pack on the classic e2 100, 100 kilometers and the 120 kilometer stock version is the same it's just the buffer of 20 kilometers has been provided for the 120 kilometer model so the coming to the e2 with new wheels this uh, definitely performed slightly better compared to the stock e2 uh, the yokohama homa tires definitely add some less resistance and uh, and that's slightly better numbers uh, the expected DT was 68 kilometers, and achieved DT was 63 kilometers. So definitely much better than the stock stock uh, E2O. So coming to the E2O Plus, uh, there was an extreme disappointment in this in the case of the E2O Plus P6 and P8. 
the range achieved was way below expected so the b2 plus p6 version was 19 percent below the expected dte rating and similarly the p8 which is a 140 kilometer range car was expected to have a dte of 88 kilometers uh, considering that we covered 52 kilometers but then it achieved a dte of 62 kilometers so that's a whopping 30 percent uh, below expected dte value so the p8 e2 has a more powerful motor and that that really uh, drains the battery faster than normal and that's the that is the worst performer so this shows that the classic e2o uh, created by the mr chetan maini and his team is an excellent electric car it delivers on what is promised unlike the new models the e2o plus p6 and the p8 uh, Mahindra really need to see what went wrong and uh, they need to get back the E2O uh, into the market if they can. Uh, we hope uh, this was useful for you guys and if you like the content video do share, subscribe uh, and, uh, and yes, go electric.